Hi guys, this is Erica, and in today's video, let's talk about movement behind the scenes. This was a video suggestion from one of you guys. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I love answering your questions. So yeah, let's talk about it. But before we start, I want to remind you that we are giving away a free course called How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. All the details are down below. And also, if you would like to work with me, I would love to help you. I have a sale going still right now so if you're interested all the details are down below and also um some of the people that have purchased my affirmation tracks the one for commitment and manifest your specific person back they've been get, giving me really good feedback um they help you reprogram your subconscious mind if you're interested all the details are down below as well but yeah let's start with this video so let's talk about movement behind the scenes i really believe that the moment that you have a desire for whatever it is creation is finished that's why you have the desire of experiencing a specific person or a job or traveling somewhere whatever it is that you desire you have that desire because it's already created for you you are meant to experience that reality so all you have to do is align with that with that um reality for example if you want a specific job at that specific company tell yourself that that job is already mine i meant to work for them they're begging me to work for them because i'm an amazing candidate right i will be really good at, at performing that job so they need me to work for them right so align with that desire instead of yeah i would like to work for that company but it's never gonna happen yeah i'm not qualified don't think that way whatever desire it is that you have align with it if it's a specific person instead of yeah i wish i wish that i could date that person but they're never gonna look my way i don't think i'm good enough for them no if you have that desire to be with that person tell yourself yeah they're so into me they think i'm amazing they think i'm incredible they're pursuing me or they're committing to me right whatever it is that it is your desire in relationship to that person tell yourself that it's already done that you're meant to experience it experience it that it's already yours right instead of thinking yeah that's never gonna happen no if you desire it creation is already finished movement is poof it's already there it's already created the moment you have that desire so that's the first thing that I will mention. By the way, I, I wrote down some notes so I don't forget and I'm not rambling too much, but yeah, creation is already finished. So I hope that helps you, give you that peace of mind, right? Something else that I think is important to talk about is that the more resistance you have with that desire, the longer your manifestation is gonna take. For example, talking about that job, right? If you're like, yeah, it's never going to happen. Yeah, I'm not qualified. There's resistance. So it's going to take longer for you. But if you, again, if you help yourself and tell yourself like, no, like that job is mine. I'm meant to work for them. I don't care if they're telling me, no, you're not qualified. No, like, sorry, like <laughs> we're not hiring right now. Do not accept that. If you have that desire, it's already yours. But if you have resistance, it's going to take longer. I've talked about my experience when getting a job. They told me no, but I had since the beginning, like I, I already I always said, that's, that's my job. I meant to have that job. I applied for the job. They said no to me. I'm like, I don't care. That is my job. I meant to work for them. And they came back to me and they told me that they had, uh, changed the qualifications for me to get the job. So see, it happened for me faster rather than if I if I had said, yeah, it's never going to happen. Yeah, I'm not qualified. Yeah, maybe I need to, you know, go back to school or whatever. Then it will have taken me longer to experience that reality. But if, when I said, I don't care, that is my job, it was really quick. So there's always movement in the background, but help yourself, right? Move it along faster by not adding resistance by not having thoughts that oppose the reality that you want help yourself with yeah that is my job or yeah that's my specific person yeah they want to be with me or if you want to travel somewhere yeah i'm meant to travel to whatever location instead of thinking yeah it's never going to happen because i don't have the money or yeah it's going to take forever because i don't even have a passport like just align yourself with the desire yeah like i don't know how it's going to happen but i'm meant to go to xyz place right 
So help yourself with having thoughts that align with that reality instead of having resistance and then it will take longer. Um, but yeah, like there's always movement behind the scenes. The fact that you don't see it with your fixed physical eyes, it doesn't mean that there's no movement. I have had so many people, so many of my clients that come to me and they tell me like they've been doing their mental diet, right? Their affirmations for a specific person, for example. And they're like, yeah, Erica, I've been doing the work. I've been doing my affirmations, like, but it's still not happening. And I'm like, you have to persist, keep going, right? There's always movement. It's going to happen. And guess what? When that specific person finally came back to them, they repeated all of their affirmations. And one of my clients, I remember she asked uh, her specific person, so like, why didn't you reach out to me? And he's like, I really wanted to. I thought about you every day. Like, I really wanted to reach out to you. <laughs> but you were in my mind 24-7. I will have dreams about you. So my client was thinking, yeah, the, there's no movement. Yeah, nothing is happening. But there is always movement. Her specific person was thinking about her. So do you see how there's always movement in the background? You're still not seeing it with your with your physical eyes. My my client didn't didn't see it with her eyes, right? She wasn't getting the messages yet, but everything that she was affirming, her person was thinking. Her person was feeling. So again, if even if you don't see it with your physical eyes, there's always movement. That's why they say have faith before you see it. Instead of yeah, I'll believe when I see it. No, it's the other way around. Have faith in the fact that. Your affirmations, your thoughts are changing things in the background, right? Have that faith before you see it, which I think it's another point that it's important to talk about. I think that when you have faith in yourself, when you have faith in the fact that your words and your thoughts are powerful and they will come back to you with, with your desire, right? Like what they say in the Bible, your words will never come back empty. When you have faith in that, I think... The movement is faster as well rather than if you're thinking yeah i don't know if i believe it yeah i don't know like do they really not have free will i think that when you have doubt it's still gonna happen it's still gonna manifest but if you're like i know that i'm powerful i know that my thoughts create i know that whatever i say they're thinking whatever i say they're doing whatever i say they're feeling when you have faith in that i feel like creation like, you know, that your manifestation comes to you faster than when you're doubting yourself. So, so yeah, there's always movement. You might not see it with your eyes, but it's happening. Something else that I think is important to talk about is thought transmission, right? Like with that example that I was talking about with my client, everything that she was affirming, her person was thinking, her person was feeling even though she wasn't hearing from him yet, right? But everything she was affirming, he was thinking. And that's why, you know, thought transmission is real. Everything that you're thinking, they think. Everything that you're thinking, they feel. Everything that you're thinking, they do. Because you're the one in control. Because they don't have free will. Because they are just you pushed out, right? So there is movement. There is always movement because what you affirm, they think. And here comes another important point when we talk about manifestation. That's why it's important to be persistent, right? Because if this is thought transmission, and let's say that I'm thinking, oh, yeah, he loves me so much. He loves me so much. Yeah, actually, I don't think he does. He hasn't reached out to me. He probably hates me. And I go back, no, 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 no. Like, he loves me. He loves me. He loves me. Yeah, but does he really? No, I think he probably doesn't like me. He probably is, you know, is repulsed by me. Nah. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I don't want to think that. And I go back to, no, he loves me. He loves me. He loves me. So thought transmission, right? If I'm thinking hot and cold, right? <laughs> Positive and negative. My specific person is going to be thinking hot and cold. That's why they show up hot and cold with hot and cold behavior. Because your thoughts are transmitting to them, right? So that's why it's important to be persistent with just thinking the thoughts that align with your desire. 
right? And it, if you're persistent with just the same thought, they love me, they love me, he loves me, he loves me, or she loves me, she loves me. They're going to be feeling that and they're going to act up on that love that they're feeling for you, right? That's why I think persisting and being consistent with the same thoughts, right? That align with your desires. I think it's important the, the more you are persistent with that story of they love me, they love me, they love me, the faster it's going to happen for you. The far faster the movement is going to be. And one of my analogies for that is imagine that if you are parents, you know what I'm talking about. When you have your little kid like, hey, mom, can I have a piece of candy? Mom, 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 mom. And you're like, oh my gosh, here it is, the candy, right? Just stop. <laughs> I feel that when you're affirming, right, the transmission, you love me, you adore me, you can live without me, you love me, you adore me, you can live without me. They're, they're thinking about you, right? Thought transmission. And it builds up on them so much that they're like, I need to reach out to them. I need to reach out. Like, I, I just, I love her so much. I think about her all days because you're thought transmitting to them, right? So in the same way, they're like, I need to do something about it. I'm going to call them. I'm going to go knock on their door right because you are thought transmitting that and the more you do it the faster you're going to see movement so that's an, another important point what else uh thought transmission yeah and yeah remember like they don't have free will right so again the movement is going to be there there is always movement because they don't have free will they're the reflection of what you're thinking of your thoughts so and once again, if you have faith in the fact that they don't have free will and they have to show, show up the way that I'm thinking about them, they're thinking what I say they're thinking, they're doing what I say they're doing, they're feeling what I say they're feeling, when you really believe that about the fact that they don't have free will, the movement is going to be faster as well. Because you're helping yourself, right? You're aligning yourself with, with that desire rather than, yeah, no, He's going to do, she's going to do whatever they want to do. They're just going to do whatever they want to do. They're so stubborn. They're just so stubborn. When you're thinking that they're stubborn, you're not helping yourself by saying, no, like they are, <laughs> they're just reflecting my thoughts. They don't have free will. They are me pushed out, right? So I think that's another helpful tip. Remind yourself that you're the one in control and they don't have free will and they're just you pushed out. The movement is going to be faster if you think that way. Um, what else? So, yeah, I talked about persisting as well. And, yeah, just the belief that, you know, you're the one who's in control. Also, if you want to see faster movement, tell yourself that everything is happening. All my thoughts, all my affirmations are manifesting immediately. Every day I see evidence of the fact that my thoughts create. Every day I see my thoughts, my affirmations manifested right in front of me. And every day it gets better and better. I get more and more movement every day. My thoughts create immediately. All my positive thoughts create immediately, right? So help yourself with that type of thinking. But yeah, I hope that this answered your question. Once again, there is always movement behind the scenes. You don't have to believe it until you see it. Really believe that your thoughts create, that thought transmission is real. And you'll see the results of that kind of thinking, right? So, yeah. I hope that this video helped you. I hope that it answered your questions. If you would like to work with me, I would love to help you and answer more of your questions one-on-one. -on -one. But, yeah, I hope that I'm intending that this video helped you. Remind yourself that you guys can have whatever it is that you you want, that you are limitless, that whatever desire that you have, it's already yours, right? But yeah, thank you so much for liking, watching, and subscribing, guys. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>